Hello, 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 and today I bring you something a bit different. Probably some of you know one of the nicest places to buy banknotes, especially in auctions, is Spink, which is a British uh, auction house that specializes in different things, different collectibles. But banknotes has been a strong point of theirs, and they're coming up with the next auction, the 2108, 188, etc. And uh, this time, and this is mostly due to the pandemic, they are making things a bit different. It used to be mostly, well, you could bid online, of course, but it would be in person. But nowadays they have a different structure for the lots. And here we have 760 lots, so 400 here on April the 26th, and uh, another 360 on April the 27th. You can actually bid... Uh, online in advance, uh, and then with, that's why it's called the e auction, and there will be like no live stream video, etc. And then basically for the really really good stuff, uh, you would be it will be with with stream, and it will be on the 28th of April, starting with an English collection of banknotes. This is just 35 lots, and then uh, well, <laughs> the very very good stuff. Uh, which is around 200 lots um, of world banknotes. Of course, these are um, this auction house doesn't have cheap, like say, uh, norm, the normal price would say or the average price of a banknote. In this auction here, will buy two to three thousand pounds, and even on the auctions, it will be no less than around 400, 500 pounds. So you won't find cheap banknotes. Nevertheless, I think it's interesting to look at some highlights that I think uh, that you can see in this in this auctions. And basically, we start with the good stuff on the 28th. And I won't go too much into the British banknotes. But first, we have um, this is something that you, you don't see normally, but they do offer quite a significant amount of these. It's a uh, Argentina front front printers model for a banknote that was never uh, never actually came into into circulation. Time for 100 pesos here with uh, General Manuel Sabio. Sabio. Um, very interesting banknote. The back is just not there, it's, it's on cardboard mounted. But it, it's an interesting banknote, especially if you collect Argentina to get this oddities. Estimate price at the moment with no one having bid yet, it's 420 to 480 pounds. And starting bid is at 420. Next, we have an interesting banknote specimen uh, from Belgium Congo, actually a color specimen. I find this note absolutely amazing. It's while well, it's here, it's uncirculated, although you can see some some marks here and the corners are not so sharp. But it's a, a beautiful banknote of a thousand francs. Nine, uh, the 29 doesn't have this this color, so that's why it's a color trial specimen. Interesting banknote. Uh, it would go for 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. Next, we have something that it's, well, it's not that it's unusual. You come up with some of these. This is uncirculated, 1,000 Canadian dollars, the 1937 version of it. Pristine conditions, very interesting banknote, also a very low serial number, 110. This one is expected to reach between 10,000 and 13,000 pounds. And of course, if you, as you see here, on top of that, it will go um, commission, which is 20%, I'm, if I remember correctly, or 21%. Um, yeah, I can check that later. Um, on top of the of the final price, it will go 20%, and de depending where you are, you may as well also pay VAT or you pay import taxes. So yeah, it gets quite expensive. So this one only 15,000 were printed, yeah, so it's quite a rare banknote, especially for the ones that like uh, Caribbean dollars and also Queen Elizabeth's money uh, or Queen Elizabeth portrait money. Here's a um, a set of specimen for uh, picks 13 to 16, A1000. Some people don't like specimens. 
I tend not to collect so many, uh, but this is actually an interesting lot because you get all of them uncirculated and yeah, same number. Um, value between 1000 and 1200, so these are actually more valuable in circulated fashion or uncirculated but issued banknotes than actually on the specimens. Um, the main auction has a lot of Egyptian uh, specimens. This one is quite a beauty for me. It's uh, only extremely fine, but look how colorful it is. The, th the pick number three of Egypt. This is three specimen, 1912 Cairo. Um, very beautiful banknotes, very colorful, hard to get in any grade uh, issued. Also, this one is specimen is not an easy banknote. This one goes for 4,000 to 6,000 pounds. Now something a bit cheaper and issued. Uh, it's uh, French Somaliland, uh, PMG 64, so uncirculated, beautiful banknote with the uh, with French style, Djibouti, issued in 1927 from the Bank of Indochina, but for Somaliland, beautiful front, beautiful back, interesting banknote, hard to find, starting at 600 pounds. And another one from French uh, Ultramer, so French provinces, here is Guadeloupe. Uh, this one should be extremely fine. It's big 40, I believe, uh, an issued banknote. This one is not uh, PMG, but still interesting banknote if you collect French colonies. Slightly different style than we are used to. Yeah, this was high grade. Yeah, very fine. It's actually in a folder. It's very fine. Uh, interesting banknote. Next, we have some Persia. So Iran, uh, pick 11, 11A. Very fine. Again, these I love the banknotes of Iran, especially these earlier ones. They're all very expensive. This one comes in different payables at. This one is paid only at the town of Meshed. There are other versions of it. Uh, it's for one toman. Uh, so you can buy anything with one toman nowadays. So that's 10 reals. Um, yeah, interesting banknote. There's a second one also being in auction that's payable at a different location. Uh, this one is starting at 1,200 pounds. Now, some an issued note and circulated and rare, absolutely rare. Um, it's Iraq 11A. Um, I mean, the banknote itself is quite monochromatic, um, but it's just you don't see quite often this banknote, and it's it's not pristine and circulated. You see the corners there have some something. There's also some um, material there on the side, but it, it's it's a beautiful banknote and. It will probably sell for a bit over 5,000, I believe. Now, something that was quite rare in the past, but they have been coming up in auctions now and then. It's this uh, the tapestry banknote, it's called. Extremely rare in uh, the issued format and specimen. They come up often, not often, but once in a while. Uh, this banknote is deemed by many to be one of the most beautiful ones ever made. It's on uh, 100 livres from Lebanon, uh, 1945. It's just the, the back is nice, but the front is absolutely amazing. Um, except specimen here, starting price 10k. Yeah, so it actually it says here, um, there was one graded, um, in, in the the auction that happened in New York earlier this year in January, uh, same banknote, but uh, PMG 65, and that one sold for 18 pounds, 18,000 pounds. Again, another specimen, um, $10,000 um, from the Board of Commission, so from Malay and British Borneo. Um, yeah. <laughs> What can you say about this banknote? This was only for intra-bank intra, um, 
bank transfers, of course, but this specimen is just amazing. Very colorful, the flower uh, theme, the back is less, less impressive, but the front is very nice. Uh, this one was starting at 14,000 pounds, it's already at 18,000 at the moment, and that's not with the buyer's premium. So with the buyer's premium, this goes for close to 22,000 at the moment. And besides that, there's also the 1,000 in the same auction. This one, PMG 53. Um, yeah, it's a similar banknote. Uh, the back is actually almost the same. And the front, basically, you have some change of the colors, but it's still a very nice one. This one, at the moment, already in 16,000 pounds, also started at 14,000. Next, an issued banknote, and this only because it's a very high grade. So PMG 67 for 12 C of Seychelles, again with Queen Elizabeth. You would see that a lot of, it's not that um, Spink does not offer others, but it, it there's a big quantity of um, banknotes that are more on the British scope of things, because it's a British house. So um, there's a lot of collectors for, uh, of course, the UK, but also for uh, British ex-dependencies. Um, yeah, so that's why there are so many of these. So it, it's a beautiful banknote, very colorful, uh, for 10 rupia, rupees, already at 2,000 pounds in this case. Then, to be, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't really collect U.S. paper money. Um, I have a few of them, of course, especially the, the newer ones or the, the previous two or three issues. But besides that, I don't normally tend to collect any of these. I actually don't have. I, th I have a few certificates from 35 or something, from 1935 and so, but nothing special. But this one has, this auction has quite some interesting banknotes, although... Spink is not the best house to buy um, um, U.S. currency. You can get better at Heritage. But, but this one is actually very interesting. So uh, a treasury note for two silver dollars from 1886, uncirculated. Yeah, quite different than the ones that you see nowadays or that are issued nowadays. Starting price at $4,000. I'm not really sure if this is going to sell, to be honest. And then you have, although in very fine, hundred dollars with Benjamin Franklin. Um, yeah, but at this time in 1914, hundred dollars was probably a year's age for most people. So it's it's actually a nice banknote. Also, the the back it's uh, much more how to say uh, caricatoonish than you would normally expect from a U.S. banknote. And I have another two from the US to show you. This one is a $50 serv, uh, um, silver certificate or no, gold certificate. Yeah, playable in gold. Uh, $50 from the 1922 series, also a lot of money at the time. Banknote, yeah, at gold, with gold colors. This one starts at 2400 and last one from the US, the thousand dollar from in uncirculated from uh, the series of 1934 with uh, Cleveland there. Um, again, this is more like an oddity. It's not that the banknote is this nice, but it's like a thousand dollars. It's an interesting banknote. And this was is already most to the 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 style that we have nowadays. And of course, then there are the some of the the banknotes that most people are looking into. It's the Zanzibar banknotes. This one in fine, uh, pick number two. Uh, it's fine to very good, I would say. Uh, yeah, I don't think that these are actually that nice of a but of banknotes, but they are quite scarce. That's for sure. Uh, this one will start at fifteen thousand pounds. And the other one, which is a cancelled note, uh, pick six, also basically the same drawing um, and not much in the back to see. This one, um, very fine, 
starting at 40,000 pounds. So here you even can, can get some, some, some history on the bank, not in this case. And that's for the main auction. So going into the auctions, there's not as many nice banknotes, but there are quite a few ones and are cheaper prices. Um, first of all, you have a 23A from the Bahamas, still with Bahamas government here written on top. This is Big 66 from Legacy. Um, the back is actually much nicer than the front I find in this in this bank in this series of the Bahamas or in this series that went on and on. Um, Twenty dollars at the moment being sold for two thousand three hundred, and it should go relatively higher. These is, these are getting extremely scarce. More from the Bahamas, also a much earlier banknote from nineteen eighty four. And $50 is now reaching, well, current bid is $850, so, uh, yeah. I know that they were hard to get in the Bahamas because I knew of stories of people trying to get them in the 80s at the banks, but, and they only gave them out at Christmas time, so the, the basically the, um, the central bank would only issue those at uh, Christmas times or something, so around Christmas. So these were actually very hard to get during the summer months um, in any format. And there are people like running through all the banks in in, in the Bahamas or in, in the capital, and trying to get them and not being able to. I think the 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 our, yeah anything over twenty dollars was hard to find, but it's it's yeah this one even has some pinholes, but it's still selling at eight fifty at the moment. And it should go higher. Interesting also for people that like Queen Elizabeth. Here's a set. Of uh, Bermuda 23, big 23 to 27, all with 00077 as a serial number. Uh, yeah, interesting set. This one being sold starting at 1200. Next one is Fiji uh, 52E, also uncirculated, 10 shillings from 1965. Quite a hard banknote to get, despite the fact that it's 10, 10 shillings, so half a pound. Um, this one, as you can see here at the moment, 260. Um, I'm bidding on this one, to be honest, um, but it's it's a nice banknote. Now going, and I'm, I'm getting to the end of, of the video, just five or six banknotes left. There's this interesting one. Also in the same format as the one from Guadeloupe, but the same kind of drawing, 1974 French Afars and Isas, uh, Djibouti, 1,000 franc. Um, you don't see this banknote that often, and this one is in uh, PMG 66, and it's, I don't think it's, um, it's that expensive at the moment, so for 500 pounds. Next, we have three banknotes from Iran. Um, extremely fine, uh, 38 A capital pick. Um, I find the banknotes of Iran, like I said, amazing works of art. This one is hard to find in, in this grading, um, and it's, it's a nice banknote. I'm bet bidding on this one also. Uh, but interestingly enough, um, I'd like to point out like some some color trial from uh, the Pic 66 already with Reza Palevi um, of the 10,000 reals. It's beautiful in all the detail, especially of course it's uncirculated, although you see some spots here and there. Um, but it's a specimen banknote and it's selling for at least a thousand. It's the bid at the moment. Uh, but then you have the one that was a final drawing. This one, of course, in uncirculated and issued uh, with the end result, which it's also very nice. I think I actually like the the final drawing a bit better, the final final coloring a bit better. But it's up for you to decide. This one at the moment at 480 should be touching the 600 somehow somewhere. There's two more banknotes left, and I'll. The second to last is actually an Italian Somaliland, 15, uh, pick 15 in specimen. Of course, Italian Somaliland, hard to get uh, any banknotes of this um, 
country that didn't last for long. Um, this one with the line, interesting, especially because of the issue in Rome here. Some pinholes making it uh, PMG 63, but still it's already selling at 1,400 pounds. So should, should, this one should be closer to 2,000 than anything else. Last but not the least, uh, some Board of Malaya banknotes, $50. Uh, less than $50 does actually come up also a lot in eBay, etc. But um, $50 plus, it's it's hard to cut. Especially, I mean, this one is not in pristine condition. This is very fine, but it's still an amazing banknote. Um, and I just wanted to leave you with this one at the moment, 1,400 pounds. And these, of course, are the E auctions, so these are the cheaper ones. Um, Good. So like I said, there's still some time for you to bid if you fancy something like this. There's thousand something banknotes uh, here on sale. They normally sell 99% of the of the banknotes. There is very limited amount of banknotes that don't get bid. Uh, so yeah, if you are a banknote that one, uh, if you are a collector that wants to 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 get something more than the average stuff that you get on eBay. This is one of the places to go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.